So last week, if you guys remember, Emily and Darren and Derek were all going to go camping to the lake for a week. So they got everything loaded up and change of plans, Derek decided he wanted to go home to Indiana. Hello goat lovers, this is Crystal with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. What started with four chickens and two goats quickly grew into a lifestyle. So we moved, got more land, and of course, more goats. Follow our adventures as we grow our herd, our food, and our family. For the week, I have been doing the chores with Emily. Um, she's been a big help. She didn't want to go to Indiana this time. This time. We moved out here 10 years ago, here to Arizona from Indiana, and my husband hasn't been home since. So he was really homesick. It was in the plans that they were going to go in June anyway, um, but because of a million different reasons and finances and everything else, uh, he decided he wasn't going to go. So, I don't think he would have forgiven himself if he didn't, so he decided that he was going to go anyway. So, last minute plan, but that's okay. And I miss my boys. Um, again, Emily decided to stay. She didn't want to leave the farm for that long, and I don't blame her. So... She got to stay here with me, which is nice, because I'm really missing the two. But, while they are fishing the lakes in Indiana, I get to visit with my grandbaby today, so. Smile. Smile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Smile. No, smile. Smile. Yeah. You're junkies. You're a junkie monkey. Smile. What are you doing with your belly hanging out? Huh? You're so funny. You're so funny. I see your belly. Say hi. Say look who came to visit. You say hi. <laughs> What are you looking at? Who is that pretty girl? Who is it? <laughs> Let's watch Mama cut her doggy, huh? So you gonna shave her? We'll see how this goes. She's crazy. Just right across. Oh, that looks so good already. She's being good. Huh? She's being good. I'll give you such a big treat when we get home, Anna. I'll buy you a hamburger from McDonald's. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> one over She's there. just really liking her face. Look. She's so cute. She likes the back. Who is her baby? You going to say hi to the baby? <laughs> Say hi. What are they doing? Good girl. What are they doing? 
Wait, 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 just shave the bottom portion of her body so she can be aligned for a bit. <laughs> you think you're cute, don't you? Yes. <laughs> shave it like a sharp cake. And yes. Like, uh, the snazzle. Mm, sweet girl. Don't tell Izzy what she even does. I don't want to see a reaction. What? All your clothes? All done. Because then you can't come in the house. You guys, all five kittens are gone. They're always here in the morning. When I went out to feed, they weren't by the trailer like they always are. <clears throat> and they're not in any of their normal spots either around the house. And they don't venture off very, very far at all. So then I noticed Tink, you know, at first I didn't think too much of it, but then when I noticed Tink wandering around the yard as well, looking for them in their normal spots, hollering for them, if you will, like a really loud holler meow. Which I tried to get footage of, but every time I, I find her doing it she would come up to me and just want pet so anyway there's no way five kittens are missing from a predator not all five so they had to have ventured off somewhere so hopefully they come back because it's been a couple hours and tink has been looking for him and hollering for him for a while now five kittens so hopefully they come back you guys Oh my gosh, you guys, I was coming around the corner to feed, and look who's back. Oh my goodness, is it all of them? One, two, three, four. Tink! Do not take them off wandering again. Did you find them? Did you find them, Treasure? You stinker! I cannot believe that. Alright, so since Derek and Darren have been gone, Derek usually gets the hay for me, so I have to do it today. In the Suburban. Which won't be the first time. So, here we go. We are here. Tractor supply. What in the world? So cute. Oh, hi, little guy. He's so cute. What's up, cowboy? How you doing? <gasps> what in the world? It is so cute. Kittens. Yep. Oh, that one looks so cute. Look at these boys. They've eaten all the grass off and look at the tree. They've trimmed it up. What are you doing, Luck? What are you doing? Are you stuck? <laughs> Lucky. They love their bigger area. What do you think, Merle?
What do you think? You're just like your daddy. Yep, so they've eaten off all the grass, but they're loving the bigger area. Lodi is doing amazing. Aren't you, girl? Aren't ya? Like nothing happened. Still giving her a bottle. Like to see a little more weight on her, but maybe another week. And she is a bottle baby now. Screaming for the bottle. And that's annoying. Lodi. Hey, girl. Doing good. All right, guys. So with the cheese, the second batch of Kobe I did turned out amazing. Two Kobe's in a row on my first time, and none of them messed up. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but what I don't like is I dried it on this rack here and it kind of, not only does it leave the lines in it, but it discolors it a little from the being on the metal. So what I did was, um, I did purchase some like plastic mats so that I can put it on the rack and then, you know, it has holes in the mat so that it, air can still get through, but then I won't have to worry about the discoloration or those lines. So it's still edible, but I want it to be pretty as well. So anyway, it, it turned out great. Um, it's pretty much dry. I'll probably be waxing it tonight after work and we'll be done with that. I wanted to make probably what I was thinking was going to do another, uh, I want to do a pepper jack. I think that would be really good and it's a jack. So try, try a new cheese, but I ran out of mesophilic culture, which I thought I had enough to do another batch this weekend and I did not. So. Anyway, it's ordered, it's on its way with the mats so that this doesn't happen. And next weekend, that's probably what I'm gonna dive into is a, a pepper jack. So, as far as the cave is concerned, it's working really great, you guys. I have found the humidity is, is pretty hard to, to keep high. So, you know, again, we want it right around 80. The, the temperature is staying great. It's staying like right around 50, 55 degrees. Um, on the bottom shelf and then the top is 60 degrees so um, you know as far as the temperature is concerned that that's doing pretty good but the humidity it, it's kind of hard it kind of goes down to 60 from time to time um, so it's right around 60 to 80 and I want it at 80 so what I found works better if I have two um, of the buckets of ice that we have that you guys saw if I have two of those that are half melted and two that are frozen um, just you know rather than all frozen at the same time so anyway it's still working really well it's working way better than the the crisper would do and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so that's the update on the cheese guys so no cheese making this week but next week we'll get back at it mm -hmm.